Hi, last lesson, we had discussed about light. And, we learned that, why we can see an object. Today, we will discuss about light, reflection, and refraction. What is reflection of light? When a ray of light approaches a smooth, polished surface, and the light ray bounces back, it is called the reflection of light. The reflection of light can be categorized into two types, specular reflection and diffuse reflection. When light reflects from a smooth surface at the same angle as it hits the surface, this is called specular reflection. For a smooth surface, reflected light rays travel in the same direction. Diffuse reflection, when a parallel beam of incident light is reflected in different directions, it is called diffuse reflection or irregular reflection. In this case, the parallel incident rays do not remain parallel after reflection, they are scattered in different directions. For better understanding, we will learn about some important terms of light, such as incident ray, reflected ray, point of incidence, normal, angle of incidence, and angle of reflection. Incident ray, the ray of light falling on the surface of a mirror is called incident ray. Point of incidence, the point at which the incident ray falls on the mirror surface is called point of incidence. Reflected ray, the ray of light which is sent back by the mirror from the point of incidence is called reflected ray. Normal, a line, perpendicular, or at the right angle to the mirror surface at the point of incidence is called normal. Angle of incidence, the angle made by the incident ray with the normal is called angle of incidence. Let's understand the refraction of light. When light traveling in one transparent medium encounters a boundary with a second transparent medium, for example, air and glass, a portion of the light is reflected and a portion is transmitted into the second medium. As the transmitted light moves into the second medium it changes its direction of travel that is refracted. The law of refraction, also known as Snell's law. This law describes the relationship between the angle of incidence theta 1 and the angle of refraction theta 2. Measured with respect to the normal perpendicular line to the surface in mathematical terms and one sign theta 1 equals n2 sign theta 2. Hi friends, subscribe our channel and click the bell icon today for more videos.